Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, let's talk about everything script with symbols or C sharp directive. So, C sharp directive gonna have you include or exclude some part of your code in your application. There are some built in symbols in Unity which is related to the platform. For example, in here, I have the EVD standalone symbols, which means all the code inside this area only executes in a standalone platform. I will show you in the editor. As you can see, it's already printed out the message go it is the standalone platform. I will give another example. In this time, I will show you. I will include the code which will be run on the Android platform only. Let's take a look. I'm going to use ifs and hit enter. And the text editor has already provided us with the code template. And I'm going to choose EVT Android. Now, I'm going to lock. See this, the Android platform. And if it's not, we're going to use else. As you can see, else, it's just like the if statement. The else if is going to execute the logic of else if. And in this time, I'm going to code it else and if it's not in the android platform just gonna log is it is not the android platform you can see that this code here is gray out it's not it is not getting compiled by the compiler and if i run this time it will show you the message that it is not the Android platform. Let's take a look. As you can see, the resource has been printed now. Now, I will change the platform from standalone to Android for you to see what happened. Now, I am in the Android platform, as you can see, it provides us with the information here. Let's take a look at the text editor. You can see that now, when I'm in the Android platform, the only code that are, that are within the UD Android symbols now has been light up, and the other code, which include the UD standalones, has been grayed out, which means they are not being compiled. And now, when I run it in the Unity, it's gonna print out CDs the Android platform. Let's take a look. You can see it is already correct. Another symbol is that's EOT providers that I think is quite important is EOT editor. Let's see. If I'm gonna say EOT editor, every course within this session we're gonna be run, but in the editor only. It's not gonna run when you build your application. So why you need it? Well, you need it for some kind of testing or some kind of editor coding. I want to show you the most popular use case of this as I always use, which is logging. So logging is expensive because it's going to have a major impact on your EC allocation. But we need logging to see if our application is working correctly. 
So in the internally, we will show log to help us debug and testing. But in the real application, we will not do it because it will have a major impact on our application performance. So what we can do is ask we will have for example debug that debug log and I'm gonna provide a message within this function I will have the only specific code that would run on the editor debug that log message now within the editor I could just go debug that log and I'm gonna provide the message but in a real application this code right here would not be compiled and your application is not gonna be slow by that if you guys still with us please consider like and subscribe to the channels and share with your friends we will really appreciate that now i will show you a better solution in Unity, you can actually create your custom scripting symbols in here this debug.log function the this live code will only be executed when it is on the entity editor which is your editor it will not be run if you build the application however what if in the development phase of your products you found out that the application has some kind of bugs and you want to have the logging message on a real application the solution that i will show you is you can create your own custom scripting symbols let's see how i do it instead of ut editor i will use ut or i will use development environment As you can see, the code has been gray out because we do not have these symbols in our application. To do that, this file, view setting, player setting, and you're gonna scroll down. In the script compilation section, you're gonna find the scripting defined symbols. In this case, I already have a symbols or Inuitas do twin supports, which allow me to do the twin with Inuitas. If you guys want to learn more about it, please take a look at my video. I will add another scripting symbol. Let's copy this, and I'm gonna paste this here. Let's click apply. As you can see, that it has a loading symbols here which means it's already gonna compile our code now let's check the text editor you can see now this code have the color which means we can actually run our code as long as we have these symbols in our environment let's see in the editor the display and you will see that it's already logged out the message this is logging in an editor 